where we go, even when we go into school. As we all see now, even young kids um, have, a, uh, have a cell phone. So that is why we see students um, carrying their cell phone to school. And to most of us, it's a bad thing. So, and the real question is, should students be allowed to have their cell phone with them during school? My answer is yes. But the problem is that um, they should know when to use them and when not to use them. I would say the reason why they should have their cell phone with them is because um, for emergency purposes, or uh, if they actually uh, for emergency purposes, or if their parent want to contact them, so they will need their cell phone or that. If, um, for example, they have any problem somewhere that um, in, in, a, in a quiet area or that some people are hurting them, they can use their cell phone with them to um, call for help. And, but they, on the other hand, there are some circumstances that they should not use their phone, such as during class, because phone is a huge distraction. As we all know that um, we can do a lot of things on the phone and it's our main source of entertainment. We all know class is boring so we wanted to do some, we wanted to have fun and phone is like our best friend so um, we wanted to do some like using social, social media or watching some videos to, um, to, um, to distract, to distract ourselves from boredom. And um, that is why you shouldn't have your cell phone running during class. No matter how many, how much you tell yourself that you do not want to use your phone, you still use them in the end because it's right there in front of you. Like it's there and you can reach it. So it's hard to fight yourself, to fight back yourself from using your phone. So I think that um, during class, teachers should um, collect all the phone and put it on his table and after break time they could collect their phone and use it. So I think phone is good and bad. It could help you with uh, it could help you and it could also um, destroy your life. Because if you let it distract you, you wasted your time on um, unimportant things. Um, could ruin your life. So I suggest you um, limit your limit how you use your phone and um, be the boss of yourself. Tell yourself and then when you should use your phone and when you shouldn't use your phone. And that way, phone is actually not a bad thing to you. you use it. To, you can use it at school and. At Okay, thank you for your speech. And for my question is that uh, why most people or most teacher they think that uh, using phone in class is not better for a student? Um, like I stated before, it's a huge distraction. Um, like it's there, and you keep wanting to use it because um, it makes you happy. All the things that you wanted to do is on your phone, and Phone never make you, phone never upset you, so you keep wanting to use it. And I see that a lot of my friends abandon their studies and use phone. And phone is what drives them away from school, away from studies. And per day, how much you use your phone? Uh, how much time? A couple of hours, I would say, because I. I actually don't use my phone at school, even if I have, it. even if I have it with me, and even if I have the time, like the break time, I feel like it's not necessary to use it. It's it's because I couldn't manage myself, because I couldn't um, control myself from using it and limit my time, like when I should use it and when I shouldn't. That is why, even if I have my phone with me, I could limit my time to how, how I should use it.
我的手机。OK， 今天，呃、uh, ，Can you tell me about the advantages of、uh, using smartphone、uh, for students? They are keep as much like I said, and they keep you away from class, keep you away from studying, and that's what lead a lot of student um lead a lot of student to failure. They they focus more on their phone instead of school, and in the end, they got nothing, and that's the reason why they fail. And also, um, phone could actually if you use it for the, the right thing. It will lead you to the good thing, but if you're using it wrong, it can also lead you to bad thing. Like they are um, using it to like searching or looking at things that are bad. It teaches them to do bad things too. Okay, so thank you. Now it's time we recommend for your speech today. Okay, Harwatana uh, Tidan. Today you are be brave and. You have uh, like, yes, like you said, uh, you have emotion speak, emotional speech. Yeah, and you are good at pronunciation and your grammar in speaking. But uh, some some point that you have to improve is like your voice. You must speak out loud. Okay. Yeah, I saw that um, in the end of the ten. You speak it very slow and a little voice. Oh, yes. Slow. Some some are people all or audience they cannot uh, hear what are you you are saying or what you are focusing on. So you have to improve uh, this point and especially your eye contact. Oh. In the name of speaker, you have to use your eye contact, especially for cousin chat. Yeah. Okay, and one more, you are over time, maybe 30 seconds. Okay, so you have to do this. Okay, to you? Not me, not me yet. This is it already. Okay, so you remember your uh, minute. Uh, we can call it not better, but you have to improve your eye contact and manage your time, especially or try to speak out loud. Okay? Okay, so be prepared at this. Okay, thank you for your speech today. You can uh, relax. Hôm nay kia ạ phí vọt chốt nọc bọt nằm bầy kẹt sẽ có nâng ạ phí vọt sẽ tự cách xong cổ